Hey guys, this is Robin of Nine X. Just thought I'd quickly show my LED lights. So for those of you who don't know how to do this, and to be fair, I was one of you, so I had to read up. I had no idea about electronics like this. Didn't know any of this at school or anything. Um, so basically, you have your LEDs. So these are three watt LEDs. There's three blue and three white there. Now that totals up to 18 watts of total power. So I need an LED driver that will power at least 18 watts. So this LED driver here is a 20 watt LED driver. So what that means is it will power up to 20 watts. So even if you put 25 watts here, it will just run them at a lower power. So don't want that. You want to run them at their full capacity. And just here, there's a built-in potentiometer, which basically means that I can adjust the amps that go through here. Um, so, for example, I don't want it going too high, like one amp, because it will end up burning the LEDs out too quickly. Um, I want them, what do I have them at? I have them at roughly around 700, 700 milliamps, so 0.7 amps. Okay, so what you do really is just wire up the LED driver to a power supply. Boom, to a plug. Just quickly add the solder and attachment on, so that's why I'm in the kitchen. And then in here also you have the plus and minus, the positive and negative, which goes to your LEDs. So these come along. What I also did was wire in a switch, just because it makes it easier. Um, rather than having to plug, um, go down to the sockets, switch the plug, take the plug out, makes it a hell of a lot easier wire comes in and this is the negative side here so the negative side goes to that one around to there to there back to there around and there and then this one goes back into here back sorry back into there um, and then what I used was some uh, special um, adhesive that would um, try and conduct heat sorry but not conduct electricity to stick the LED mounted star mounted bases onto the heatsink here and you can see the blades on the heatsink that just gives more surface area to transfer the heat and dissipate it um, once they're stuck on the next day then I did soldering tin the tin each wire first and then solder it onto each point of contact and you're all done so I'll show you now I've got the uh, switch plugged on here and the driver so if I click this switch here You'll see the LEDs come on ready. And there we go. Let the camera adjust and you should be able to get three whites and three blues. I'm not sure how bright they look on the camera, but they're blinding me in real life. And they actually light up my tank pretty good for the fluval wedge. Um, if anything, I could do with a few more lights. I might even buy a few more. Um, I don't think I could grow SPS with these, but at the moment, my LPS and my soft leads are doing absolutely perfect. And I like the flow in the tank, so the LPS are doing fine. So that's my little guide for building some LEDs DIY style. Any questions, let me know. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos.